It's a tropical fish that originated in the Ganges River. The zebrafish embryos are absolutely transparent, so using quite simple microscopy or even advanced you know, confocal microscopy, in real time we can visualise through these transparent embryos some of the fundamental life processes like cell movements, cell division, and it turns out despite you know, 450 million years of evolutionary separation between you know, zebrafish and mammals or humans, they have all the, the blood cells are pretty well the same as humans. The organs develop in the same manner. So what you can do basically with these transparent embryos, you can very easily model aspects of human disease. Drug repurposing quite simply is trying to find new uses for existing drugs. Many of them have been on the market for you know, 10, 20, 30 years, but the companies that invented them have spent huge amounts of money, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, on understanding um, the pharmacokinetics, the toxicology profiles, and also they've been in different clinical trials. But we can take this information, but ask the question, can we find another use, another purpose for this drug? This is a you know, moderately um, inexpensive way of drug discovery. You can buy essentially all the European Union or FDA approved drugs and get a library of them. And then we can test them in these various zebrafish models. With these repurposed drugs, if they are low cost, they can be used not only for treating patients in developing countries, but can be used for treating patients with improved health outcomes worldwide.